Hey everybody, Chris Rust here. So today I got another weapons light video for you guys, and this time it's from Valhalla Tactical. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so here is the weapon light that I got from Valhalla Tactical. It is a M-Lock weapon light with a omni-directional activator. And I actually opted for the micro size. So they do, do have a full size that takes a full sized 18650 rechargeable battery. And they also have the micro size, which is an 18350. Now for me personally, I like the micro size just to shed a little bit of size and weight. I know you lose a little bit of uh, longevity as far as the light and then maybe some lumens and light capability but typically it's not a, a bad trade-off so let's go ahead and open up the box and see what they sent so i have already played with this i got it all mounted up all that that fun stuff so um <clears throat> so they do include a patch which is pretty cool uh so as far as the kit itself here this was there's three things going on here with this light so you can kind of pick and choose what you like of theirs and what you want to use. So you have a tail cap that's unique to Valhalla Tactical. And I think this is one of the really cool things I've seen on the market today. Uh, this is their ODA tail cap and it's an omnidirectional switch. Okay, so it kind of is like a little, little toggle side to side, which is pretty dang cool. And then of course you can press on it and activate the light or just do a momentary press. So it's got a lot of versatility as far as the tail cap, this ODA. And then you have the body itself. Now the body is also something very unique that I'm excited to try. This is a body that has an integrated M-Lock mounting system. You can see right there, you got two M-Lock mounting points right there. And it looks like it will tuck into the side of a rail very tightly with this integrated mounting. Now I know some people don't like integrated mounting um, and it's kind of a preference thing, but I think the way they did it here was very, very slick. And then the last thing here is the actual dual fuel LED head. Okay, so this is, we are gonna take a look at the head and see uh, kind of how that, that plays out with some of the other lighting options that I have at my disposal and just do a little bit of comparison as always. So one of the other things they do include here is for this ODA, uh, you have maybe somebody wants it a lower sensitivity or a higher sensitivity. So they do include some, some little washers here for kind of tuning that sensitivity. So the way it is here out of the box, I'm pretty happy with that. But you know, if, you're, if you find yourself clicking it on too easily, you may want to add the lower sensitivity button here underneath the ODA. So that's pretty slick there. And they also give you the mounting instructions for the M-Lock screws, uh, how much torque you should put depending on what type of rail system you're installing it on. They also tell you that you should add silicone grease once a year to the threads and the O-rings to kind of protect the light body. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this light head right here. So this is their DF Mod 2. So this is a dual fuel light head and this guy puts out a whopping 1600 lumens at 58,000 candela. So that's a really good amount of light. Uh, it is compatible with either the 18650 uh, on the lar larger sized body, the 18650, or you can also use two CR123A batteries. It is a mil-spec hard coat anodized finish, and it has firearm specific ergonomics. Okay, it's uh, shockproof, all that fun stuff. It is also lifetime warranty, so that's a big thing when I look at lights and weapon lights in particular. Uh, that warranty is definitely an important thing, unlike some of the crappier manufacturers that give you a one or three year warranty. Um, lifetime is, you know, that tells me that they're standing by their product. And of course, the light head is compatible with their body here. Okay, this uh, 
And then it's also a drop-in replacement for Surefire bodies. Okay, so it will not work on a mod light body, but it will work on Surefire. And I assume probably the Air Saka light as well. So this is not made in the USA. This is an imported light head. So take that for what you will. You know, just doesn't mean that something that's made overseas can't be good quality. I mean, take Streamlight, for example, they make very high quality or good quality lights. I run some of theirs as well and have always been happy with them. You know, as long as the quality control is good, uh, it should be good. All right, so again, just kind of a look at this ODA tail cap, which I think is pretty freaking slick. You can do a momentary push. You can click push and it stays on. You can also deflect it to the side. So my only concern is it might be a little easier to turn this on when you don't want it to, but that's why they do include the different sensitivity pads for this tail cap. Okay, so for the sake of not making this super duper long, I'm only going to compare this particular light, this Valhalla Tactical Light, with probably the main competitor, which is going to be Cloud Defensive. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a stream light that's close to the capability of this one, other than maybe the TLR, TLR1HL. So do a little bit of comparison there. But uh, the main thing is going to be the Rain Micro. So I have the 2.0 version I'm going to do a comparison with. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the Valhalla and just kind of see how the light looks. So what I can tell you that uh, it does have a very nice, nicely defined hot spot. And it's it's more on the cool side as far as the, the color or more, more whiter light rather than, than orange or a warmer color. So um, this guy looks like definitely um, it would work very well in a defense situation. So it has uh, some nice spillover, um, but uh, very nice light, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at the Rain 2.0. Okay, so the Rain 2.0, uh, it does have, I think, a little bit of a wider beam, possibly, but the hot spot in the middle is definitely more focused, uh, which is kind of what we found across the board. Anytime I've tested a Rain light against another light, it seems like the Rains always have a more focused beam. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring in the Valhalla. So the Valhalla is on the left-hand side, and you can see that you know, the size of the beam in the center is definitely... It's about twice the size, actually. So uh, probably won't have quite the throw, but I think the Candela's is actually a, a little less on the uh, Valhalla Tactical. Yeah, it's 1,600 lumens, but I think Candela's 58,000. Uh, the rain has more Candela's, so. But they are pretty comparable. Um, I am liking the way the Valhalla Tactical Light performs. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and bring out the Streamlight TLR1HL just to give you guys a comparison. So here is the TLR1HL high lumen light. This is actually a pistol light from Streamlight. And I will tell you that definitely not a wider overall beam. Uh, it does have a good bit of spillover, and then the center beam is not as well defined, the hot spot rather. Um, it's definitely pretty pretty wide. So let me go ahead and bring in the Valhalla Tactical. So I will tell you right away, uh, the reach on the Valhalla Tactical is gonna be pretty impressive compared to the Streamlight. Okay, I wish I had a rifle light from Streamlight that's comparable. Um, I guess I gotta pick one of those up at some point. But, um, but yeah, so definitely no comparison there as far as the throw. Uh, and then you can see it actually is quite a bit brighter, the uh, Valhalla over the Streamlight right here. Okay, so I appreciate everybody watching today's video on this new weapon light from Valhalla Tactical. Give me your thoughts and comments down below. What do you guys think about this? Uh, what do you think about the mounting method for this? How it's got an integrated M-Lock mounting system, which I think is a pretty awesome idea, actually. 
Uh, the fact that you can use the body for other light manufacturers gives it a lot of versatility. Um, what is your experience, if you have any, with Valhalla Tactical or other weapon lights? You guys know I'm a pretty big fan of cloud defensive as well as streamlight, um, but I was pretty uh, excited to take a look at this thing from Valhalla Tactical. I think it's a very good offering for weapon mounted flashlights. All right, so as always, I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing. If you are new to the channel and you like what you see here, definitely click that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification icon, like, share the video. And I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I will catch you all in the next video. Y'all take it easy.